Safe to say a lot of us are going to be traveling this holiday season and it is not too late to get a great deal. We're going to show you how to find the best deals and review some of the latest FAA restrictions. A certain holiday favorite is not allowed on the plane with you. We're going to tell you what it is, plus some other items to avoid taking to the gate. And whether you're traveling by air, by train, or car, we show you ways to pack lighter and still accessorize. The cuteness factor is off the charts today on Delmarva Life. We're going to introduce you to a great group of animals, and all of them are looking for that forever home. And once you take your new companion home, he or she may not behave the way you want him to. Well, you know what? Remember, they can be just like kids and maybe just need a little extra guidance. We're going to give you some advice on how to get over the new puppy or kitty growing pains. And the reminders are here to get us into the holiday spirit. Glory to God in the highest. Delmarva Life starts right now. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppel. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. And we'd like to welcome our studio audience. Hello, everyone. <laughs> These guys are from James and Bennett High School. Well, they know how to wrap up a long day at school, don't they? They sure do. Let's go watch Delmarva Live, see what they do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, I think everybody pretty much knows by now um, that today is, uh, or yesterday, rather, yeah. Nelson Mandela oh, died at day. age 95. Yeah. There he is. Uh, Delaware Governor Jack Markell has ordered that uh, flags be uh, flown at half staff in remembrance of uh, memory of the former South African president. Yeah, I, I can't quote President Barack Obama, but he said something to the uh, in the essence of he no longer belongs to us; he belongs to the ages. Right. And right. What an, I don't know why I've always taken a, a, a magnificent interest in the man. And mm -hmm. what, twenty-seven years in jail, and then come back and become the president. Of the, of, of, South, of the country, yeah. We were what working on, my son did a current event for his history class on, on his death last night, and, and I was helping him out and reading all about him. I mean, I knew a lot about him, but there was so much more I yeah. didn't know. So, incredible teach your children. Teach Very them, incredible teach them, person. tell them to read. Um, well, that happened last night. Tomorrow, another big day in history. Tomorrow is Pearl Harbor Day. The Worcester County Commissioners have corrected an oversight. It was 72 years ago tomorrow, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. More than 2,400 Americans killed, well over 1,200 injured. And Bosun's mate first class, Clyde Jackson Rawson of Snow Hill, gave his life defending the United States aboard the USS Arizona. Mm -hmm. There is the memorial. i got to go to that one oh, of these I'd days. Oh, I'd love to go to that. Uh, Pete Winbro noticed that his name had accidentally been left off of the memorial that's on the courthouse lawn. So the county commissioners have unveiled a new plate that now includes his name, so mm. thank you much. Good for them. And speaking of Worcester County and Ocean City, you know they say the early bird gets the worm, but in this case it was the Firefly, organizers <laughs> of the High Tide Music Festival. It was a proposed music festival that was supposed to take place in Ocean City in the summer of 2014. They say the emergence of the Firefly Festival in Dover is part of the reasons behind canceling the High Tide Music mm. Festival before it even happened. It was about two years ago, I think. We, yeah. we were talking about it um, here on the show. Tom Russell of uh, Founders Entertainment right. set out a goal to bring an eclectic lineup of different kinds of music to Ocean City, different genres covering rock, indie rock, folk, so much more. He says they cannot compete with Firefly, so they're going to kind of step back, reassess the whole situation, and find out if maybe there's a different genre they can bring. Yeah, like maybe country. Yeah, and that was one of the ideas. Was it? There. Yeah. That's oh, one good. Of the ideas, My so. boots will fit right in there. Your boots will I'll fit be a happy in. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. Of a and, uh, you know, staying in Ocean City again because there's so much exciting news the Ping Pong Summer. Remember the movie yeah, yeah, that yeah. They, they filmed last year in Ocean City? Well, it's yeah. headed to the Sundance Film Festival in Park City. Utah. So it's actually going to premiere there. This picture right here, Susan Sarandon and Leah Thompson, two of the movie stars. Um, it was written and directed by a Maryland native. His name is Michael Tolley. And the film is a coming of age story set in the summer of 1985 about a ping pong obsessed teenage boy on a family vacation in Ocean City. And one of the quotes was, they are going to turn Park City into Ocean City when this premieres How about that? in January. Wow. Good news Sunday. for Ocean City. That, that's incredible. Um, holiday season, well underway, as mm -hmm. we all know. Christmas parades hit Princess Anne and Chrisfield this weekend. Last year, Santa Claus came to town and Chrisfield in a Coast Guard ship. There he is. Uh, the Chrisfield Christmas Parade starts down Main Street here at about, uh, about an hour and a half from now. 
Uh, Princess Anne has their tree lighting ceremony tonight on the courthouse lawn. Tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock, the Princess Anne Christmas Parade is going to be held along Somerset Avenue, ending in the downtown area. And if you want a look at all the parades, including the Salisbury Parade, which I'm going to be a judge in, wave to me, um, go ahead and go to DelmarvaLife.com. We have a list on there. And a Christmas celebration just kicked off a few minutes ago in downtown Milford. The 8th annual holiday stroll is from 5 to 8 tonight. Now, the event is not only a way to welcome the holiday season, but it also is an opportunity for local businesses, merchants, and artisans to display what they have available both season, seasonally and year-round. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there's entertainment, including um, they have carriage rides oh, with a oh, horse-drawn oh, oh, carriage. Yeah. Uh, they have Santa there. Uh, they have all kinds of artists, um, they have uh, um, music, entertainment, right. you name it. If it's part of the holiday, it is there it's tonight there. in downtown Milford, so you want to check that out. Can you tell we're getting into Christmas oh, yes, spirit sir. already? I'm so excited. For the first time in over 30 years, Rudolph is going to return to the Talbot Town Shopping Center in Easton, where a new generation of children are going to step into the magic red phone booth. Talk to Rudolph there on the phone. You see the orange one in his hand? Tell oh. Rudolph what they want from Santa. This is from 1957. Uh, his rooftop perch. Here it is. How about uh, that? Nobody knows why for two decades it went away. Hmm. But it's coming back, the welcome back ceremony here in about 45 minutes now in Easton. Everybody is welcome, so come on by and have talk, fun. Just talk, talk to, to Rudolph, Rudolph yeah. to tell Santa. Okay, so put yourself in this position. Here you are mm -hmm. trying to cross the Chuya River in Siberia and there's no bridge. What do you do? Well, you do this. <laughs> You hook up your car. Oh my goodness! To a zip line. <laughs> a car zip now, line. First off, I don't think there's anybody in the car. That's that's that's, that's good. good. What's that? Th what's that dot? Is it, that it's, water? Uh, yeah, there's a, a, a drop of water on the lens. On the lens of the camera. So okay. We're gonna get it out oh, over the edge. This, now, this is not going to end well, is it'd it? It'd be a fun ride. It'd be a fun ride. It's going to go in the really water, isn't it? I don't think you could pay me to get in this car it's, right now. It, Jimmy, what's going to happen? Um, Just tell me. Well, you know, first you got to ah. ah. <laughs> right, wait for it. Got to steady the car. Yes, uh, snap. You can see this coming, can't you? Uh-huh. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. It gets all oh, the way my goodness. across. It's going to hit the tree. It's going to hit the tree. But guess no. what? They get it stopped and fine. No problem. Oh. Now, here's my problem. Now what? <laughs> You got it across. It's fine, but I can't get up in there. Oh, well, half the battle's won. So don't take your car across the Chuya River in Siberia. You'll have this problem. Well Still noted. ahead on Del Marva Live, from what to pack to how to avoid airline fees, there's a lot to consider if you're taking to the skies this holiday season. Add to that, there's new FAA rules. We're going to break it all down for you, plus show you ways to save money before you check in at the airport. And you can save on baggage fees if you pack light, but that doesn't mean compromising when it comes to your holiday wardrobe. We'll show you how to take a few basic items and dress them up with accessories to create several stunning looks. Why, yes, we have made it our mission here at Delmarva Life to help the many cats and dogs on Delmarva that need a home. Brian's going to introduce us to a few more and Maybe you'll want to consider adding them to your Christmas list. And once you have your new baby, you'll need to train it. Dogs especially come with a lot of work. Angie from Angie's List shares a suggestion on how to train a dog out of bad behavior. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897 your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.